While there has been a lot of uh, progress and activity on the reforms front in the last one year, but if we go back, ma'am, to the last two or three years, the word which was most commonly used was policy paralysis. Do you feel somewhere that that was a period when things just went from bad to worse, and perhaps now it's a little too late in the day to get the economy back on track? Look, it's never too late. It's always nice to get corrections done if something is not going the way people would like it to go. But certainly, we definitely were, the NCPs always supported a very liberal economy. We were all open even to all the FDI interventions that the government was trying to make. It's just unfortunate that some of our allies did not support us then. And I really feel sad that I do look, look at it as a lost opportunity because it's not just about business, but it's all these interventions that come through manufacturing and the job opportunities that come at the end of the day. I think for me that is the concern that a lot of our job opportunities we've lost out, not just about what the numbers game is, about the investment coming in. Between UPA 1 and UPA 2, there is practically no analyst or expert who says that the record of UPA 2 was really poor compared to its record in the first uh, innings. Do you agree with that? See, I think, I think we had uh, issues with some of our allies and that's why we couldn't push some of our very liberal programs that we would like to. But fortunately, the food bill has come through, the land bill has come through, so we, uh, women's security issue bills have come through. So there's a lot that has happened. I won't say nothing has happened, but definitely we definitely ourselves had more expectations from us. And we definitely wanted to deliver much, much more. And I won't say it's great because, I mean, the numbers are showing it. So it's no point posturing to something that's not real. But definitely it's been disappointing for all of us as well.